They say the kitchen is the heart of any home. Kitchens are very important in feng shui and one of the focal points when you're buying or selling a home. In this video, I'll show you how to find abundance in your kitchen today. Susan Chan here, feng shui realtor based in New York City. Welcome to my kitchen. Here in the US, it's the day after Thanksgiving, we have hopefully cooked up a storm and eaten your fill. When we generally think of stovetops, we usually just relate it to cooking. But in feng shui, it's closely related to the abundance in your life. How, you may ask? Well, when you cook for yourself, you're healthy. And when you're healthy, you can work. And when you work, you can make money. Makes sense, right? So today, I'm going to walk you through three things that you can do to increase your abundance using your kitchen. The first abundance booster is hang a mirror for two reasons. Remember what I said about when you cook for yourself, you're healthy, and when you work, you can increase your abundance? Well, imagine doing that twofold. Hang a mirror to energetically double your burners, which doubles your abundance. Another reason to hang a mirror is to be in command. In most US kitchens, the stovetop is usually facing a wall, like here. So when you're cooking, you can't see who's behind you, which can feel a little unsettling. There's a concept in feng shui that's called the command position. In ancient times, the military used to position themselves high on top of a hill with mountains behind them to protect them and a view of the valley so they could see enemies coming. No surprises, so they were ready, powerful, and felt calm. So in your kitchen, hang up that mirror to feel in command so there are no surprises when someone comes up from behind you so you can feel calm and confident when you're cooking. I got this mirror at Target and I use command strips to hang it up. Easy to put up, easy to take down. People sometimes think that hanging a mirror in the kitchen looks a little weird, but I think it looks nice, don't you? It's also nice to be able to see yourself and people who may sneak up from behind you. Now the second abundance booster is check your burners. Yeah, mine are working. Make sure they're all working so that chi can flow and it's not stuck. And if they don't work, just get them fixed. Because in feng shui, the burners represent all parts of your life and literally you're firing up all parts of your life when you use them all. Now, the third abundance booster is keep your stovetop clean. We cook a lot in this house and especially after Thanksgiving, our burners are very dirty and right now it needs a little cleanup. So hold on one second, I'm gonna take care of that. Abundance doesn't like dirty, so make sure you clean up after every time you cook. I know you can do it because just like your front door, it's important to keep the stovetop clean so it's welcoming to abundance. Now, even if you don't like to cook, be sure you use your burners daily to boil water for tea, rotating the burners. Imagine yourself feeling nurtured, therefore nurturing your abundance. In real estate, we know that the kitchen can add tremendous value when buying or selling a home. So make sure your kitchen is beautiful, clean, functional to get the most bang for your buck. Now, thank you for visiting my kitchen today and learning how to find abundance in your kitchen. Now get to it, Feng Shui Warriors, and let's fire up your abundance. Tune in next week for more Feng Shui real estate tips. And remember, Feng Shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Did you like this video? Please subscribe or leave a comment or question below and see you next week.